it's Monster Hunter time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the SH Monster Arts Raffalos figure, also known as Leo Leias? Leo Leias? I don't know, I guess that's a Japanese name. I'm Monster Hunter Scrub, I don't really know much about the line, I don't really know much about the games. I bought this one for a friend. He will let you know in the comments all the stuff about the character, all the details about it. But I will have a look at the figure and show you if it's actually good. By the design and whatnot, it looks good. It looks, look at this huge box. Big, beefy monster. So I can't wait to chow into this. Let's go. So I didn't straighten this one out. I tried to do the pose from uh, the pictures and whatnot. Where he's really kind of hunched over and I guess that's how he walks around. Um, so what I'm showing you the size with this one is a bit complicated. I'm going to show you like the length of the wings, if you just got them like that, is goes over 30 centimeters. My ruler does not does not match the size of this one, so over 12 inches tall. Well, wide, more precisely. Let's see, if I look at the entire body, also to the tail, that also goes like basically 30 centimeters. From head to toe, head to tail, it's like 30 centimeters or 12 inches tall. But I guess in this scenario, the size comparison will do a lot more for you. There's Figma Jolter. SH Monster Arts Godzilla, the D Arts Charizard, and some collectibles Dark Side. I gotta say it, these Monster Arts figures, they're something different. I mean, the amount of detail and the clean paint job on this guy is fan freaking tastic. Let's have a look at the face. You got like light blue eyes and tiny, tiny teeth. Look at all the detail in there. Look at how clean the, the eyes are painted. There's a tiny bit of bleeding on there, but God damn it, I don't care. It looks amazing. You got like the black and red. It's so well done. There's like different layers of it, like a darker going into the black and it's more bright on the side over here. It's just incredible. Such a great look for it. Teeth also nicely painted, has a tongue in there and a big scaly face. And what seems to be ears, I guess, over here. It kind of takes me out how they just glued on there, I guess, but that's really just a small complaint for the mode. That's about the only complaint I guess I have about the mode. Because everything else is just chock full of detail. Let's have a look at this belly button. Look at the belly button. There's so much detail, so much scales and spikes going on throughout all of this. Yeah, like uh, a big clawy feet under there. And uh, let me zoom out to give you a nice look of the wings. Same thing over there. I mean, the pro I have also have the same problem that the Naga Kuga did. It's, uh, it doesn't have the strongest joints in some part, unfortunately. But that can be fixed again. And this is not my figure, so I will not put anything on there. But, uh, damn. The lines over here are very clean. They are pretty sharp. I say that because, like, sometimes if you do too much paint, if it's too thick, it's rounded at the edge. I had that with the Batman figure where I thought the bat symbol had trouble because, you know, some parts of the bat wings were too much rounded. No problem here. Also, you do get different wing parts. I just want to say that. We'll get to the uh, um, accessories in a second. But you do get more for some aerial poses. Have another look at the back and the big, big spiky tail. I don't even know what's going on over there, but I guess this is probably another thing which you use to attack. I mean, that's basically it. Just, I could look at this for for hours, honestly. I'm really impressed with the paint and the mold. And there's really zero complaint there. So one thing about the articulation is that it really takes some playing around, but basically everything is on ball joints, just like with the uh, Narga Kuga. And also the mouth. I have the mouth open right now because it's kind of fiddly. You have this piece which will get into the way and you're not getting the big range of the mouth. But if you push it back, you kind of can move it up all the way. So you got that head articulation is on a ball, but it is completely blocked. They didn't really leave a lot of room for that as such. I don't really get that much. Now articulation, there's a ball joint in here and I think there's also one in the middle on the head itself but again not really having much room so it's mostly a swivel and then there's one over there and if I try to segment these and uh, that's pretty much you do have some kind of an arc which you get out of it but it's not the greatest because 
Well, I'm saying not the greatest. It's actually pretty good, but you're thinking like with the ball joints in there it would get a little bit more, but it's a bit blocked, so I'm not giving it crap for that because also the neck itself over here, look at this one, look at this. If you pull it down and up and it does go side to side, I mean, that's one of the most impressive parts of the entire neck movement. And you also have an amazing crunch in the chest area. Pull that, straighten it out, right? And then you can really rotate it pretty much all the way down to really give him the, the hunched over pose that you need. Can rotate this around, have a nice cover up over there. And then in the shoulder, the elbow, never mind. I'm mixing up my shoulders and elbows again. Don't know why that's a thing. Uh, mostly is a hinge. And then for the wings, now, it, now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting, I guess. So this one just popped out, so that's funny. Uh, the one thing is like it doesn't really hold up over there. You have some double balls. You have one ball in the wing itself and one in the shoulder, in the arm. And you can rotate that around, bring it up. But as you can tell, it's not really staying in pose. But you have some wiggle motion. Now this one is connected with two ball joints. If you got both of them in, you basically got nothing. So I say it's funny that it's just kind of disconnected over there because then you get some motion, but if this ball is back in there, you're not really getting anything and it's just popping out now. Okay, cool. So that's not fun. Also, it's kind of like trapped in this groove over there, which is the same thing with the low wing over here. It's just connected via one ball in there, but because of the groove, you're not really getting much. It's just like wiggling around a little bit, but kind of pointless, but it just giving you, I guess, the option. Also, the chest area, you have some side-to-side -side movement. Not really all the way, and I'm trying to do this gingerly, just saying. I don't want to break off any more wings, and I don't like, like, because I don't like this one being disconnected. I already broke something off with the Naga Kuga, I don't want to repeat that. Then you have the leg, moves forward, side-to-side, -side, rotation in there. And you have another ball in here, up, down, and bring this up and down and off okay careful <sighs> i'm sweating a little bit then you have the feet articulated toes you could say individually kind of hard to get this to move around and like this entire piece in there kind of have like a toe swivel i guess and then you have another one in there this is also swiveling around and this this kind of one in the back also on the ball and for the tail let's see ball join in there it's like let's see i think there's one on each segment of the tail as such i'm just gonna try to rotate all of this out get like a nice angle get like a nice arc with it so you got one over there one over there one over there also has some wiggle motion does tilt side to side and you got that I really want to know, like, I think there is a, almost each and every one of them, it's pretty good. Oh, also the back part of the tail, no, there's none over there, but there's one over there. So, lots of ball joints, and like I'm saying, it's kind of hard to show you all these things, because you really feel, I really feel like it takes some playing around, and uh, that's probably the biggest challenge, and also not breaking anything. I don't want to break anything, alright? Boy, oh boy, there's a lot of accessories. First, I'm going to show you this giant freaking base. Uh, this is like the constellation you got for flying poses. This goes into the wings and this goes into the back. has like these pieces here to hold them up, hold up the tail, hold up the figure. Uh, the best way for me to show you this, I guess, like this is one constellation for putting him in like the more natural pose. You just take the small pack over there and you have something to hold him up in the neck area and then you have the two kind of clips to go on the wings and then you have for the flying pose use all the stuff all the things you got something to kind of slide on his back something to hold up the tail and then the two clamps to hold up the wings that's going to be interesting obviously i'm going to try that out see if i can get it done but here's like the other pieces this one goes into the neck this one holds up the, the tail or the neck if you get in in a sit on hunched over pose enough of that it's just a base but oh my god it's a giant freaking base and he got the big wings which are for the flying posers is really like more stretched out gonna make him look even freaking bigger i'm honestly can't wait to put that on gonna see how it looks 
and uh, then you got also these to replace them with the front part. So uh, basically, what you replace is these two, and make the bigger ones in there. And then you got a fire effect part, which is just kind of slide into his mouth. And that's about it. Final thoughts, and yes, I got him into uh, more of a neutral pose, and I didn't want to use the base for it, just to show you it is possible to balance this thing for all the other pictures, well, most of the other pictures, and most of the other poses, I usually use the tail to balance them out. Just put the tail on the ground, and there's no issues, but here, you can actually balance him on his chicken legs without the help of a base, which I think is super impressive, and that's already one thing that this guy does a lot better better than the Naga Kuga. The Naga Kuga was really, really hard to balance, really floppy in some joints. And like with this one, the only floppiness I feel in the joints is really with the wings, the top part of the wings. But again, that can be fixed. So honestly, what do I think about this figure? It's very simple. I love this. I love this. Oh my God. Like, okay, he does come at a price. He's not cheap. <sighs> the mold has tons 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 of detail like i had no I, I couldn't get enough of this i just took some pictures upon pictures and a photogenic monster and just the paint job the paint job is amazing don't have much for accessories i guess but really the most important part i guess is the big wings to get him into the flying poses to make him look even more impressive even more huge and by the way i kind of did forget you can move the tongue around you have that just on a ball, if I can demonstrate that. Yes, the fire just kind of slides in, if I can get in there. There you go. Can move that side, side, up and down. So you have also that. But now let me try to sit him down slowly, slowly, carefully. I say you can balance him out. It's not easy, but it is possible if this spinny thing would stop spinning. Thank you very much. Just get that. Let's get him a little bit, a little bit of a tuck. And then he balances again. There you go. Just prove that on camera. Now the spinning finger was the other way. I don't know why that's it. So anyway, I do recommend this figure. It is absolutely amazing for Monster Hunter fans. And even if you're just a fan of cool designs, if you're a fan of monster monsters and kaijus, even though it's not really kaiju, but you know. So that's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever. Raffalos wants. Like, less floppiness in the wings. Also the arms are kinda I mean it is pretty heavy but it's 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 okay. It's okay. Mm.